Yeah, yeah, yeah. This cat's the hustler. <laughs> hey, yo. I be bored as fuck working on my impersonations. Let me know what you think. I was just thinking of if Cass was arguing with A.R. <laughs> Alright, I'm about to go into acting mode. Fuck with me. <clears throat> be like, yo, Cass, what you think of this whole situation, man? Wait, man, let me tell you about that situation. Nah. Man, it all started when I let this little dog get under the full surface record label, man. My man Swizzy said he knew of a beast, a goon, AR app. He said, let him hop on the mixtape, Johns, do his little thing, the young bull of problem. I said, fine. I said, let's go, let's make it happen. So I tried to throw this nigga on my Opa Gangnam style remix and he told me it was whack. He said he wasn't fucking with it. So I said, fine, that's straight. Then I told him, listen, man, I'm working on this me, myself, and iPhone joint. It's kind of like a diss to meet mail. He said, nah, man, I can't fuck with that. So I said, alright, man, I respect it. You know what I mean? But then he gonna put out the whole video talking a bunch of shit. So I had to put one out too with my goons out there in North Carolina and all that. But he was saying how I ain't feed him and blahzy blahzy blah. That's not true, man. Look how fat this nigga is, man. I fed this nigga through his whole life. And this nigga gonna say that. I ran in the crib and I locked the door. Yeah. I did. Nigga, you AR Ab, right? You top goon to Philly, nigga. What you want to run in the crib for? Go ahead and shoot it out, nigga. <laughs> you top goon to Philly, right? Whatever, man. Let this nigga tell you the story. It'd be something different. <coughs> That's my Kaz impression. Y'all niggas, let me know what you think of that. But then niggas be like, hey yo, ab. <coughs> what you think of what's going on with Cassidy, man? That nigga Ab be like, hey yo, man. This nigga Cass, man. Let me holler at you about this nigga Cass, man. This nigga, this nigga had me broke. I was broke, man. I, I came home. I, I did a bed. I came home. This nigga had me sleep on his couch, man. Nigga told me he was going to take care of me and all that. I heard this nigga songs on the radio, so I'm thinking Cass doing his thing. I thought Cass was the man. That nigga come from Philly. I ain't eating in Philly. Of course I'm going to work with Cass. Like, but I I started listening to the stuff he rapping about. <clears throat> and I started really questioning him, man. I'm like, yo, is this nigga Cash really going to take care of me, man? I'm going to just be stuck here flipping O's. So I stole this nigga chain. I stole it and I bought nine ounces, man. And I ain't looked back since. But I remember <clears throat> I came home from from the um, from the bank. This nigga Cash, he doing his thing. He got him a hustle out and shit. This nigga Cash, he got a bunch of shit. And then this nigga got one of his sons talking about. The John with. I'm talking about the John with R. Kelly, man. This nigga talking about some. Girl, you wanna come to my hotel? Well, I couldn't come to your hotel, Cass. You got me sleeping on your couch, bro. Broke as fuck. I wanna come to the hotel, Cass, and remind her in how they inside. Talk to the Philly, man. Can't be sleeping on nobody's fucking couch next to another man. But yeah, man, that's just me fooling around high as fuck. I do a bunch of shit.